Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to rerun a pipeline from point of failure in Azure Data Factory. So this is very important in SSIS tool. Uh, we didn't have this option. Uh, let's say we were using different data flows and all that, and if it fails, uh, there was no way really going back and right-clicking on it and saying, hey, I want to rerun from uh, this point of failure. So in the Azure Data Factory, we have this option, and we are going to explore that. So let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, I am in Azure uh, portal right here, and uh, what we need to do, we need to go to the Azure Data Factory. So click on uh, Azure Data Factory. My Azure Data Factory name is uh, Tech Brothers IT ADF. Uh, Click on uh, open and it's going to open our Azure Data Factory. Once uh, it will open the Azure Data Factory, we are going to create uh, our pipeline. Um, so go right there in the author and uh, here we have a pipeline tab. Click right there and say new pipeline. Um, so in this pipeline, uh, I'm going to uh, use some activities. Uh, so let me say uh, rerun demo. Okay, that's our pipeline name. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a wait uh, uh, activity here. And I'm going to name this one uh, first wait. Okay. And uh, I'm not going to worry about like how many seconds and all that is going to be waiting for one second and then run the next activity. In the next activity, what I would like to do, I would like to use copy activity. In the copy activity, we are going to read the uh, the file from the blob storage and write to the blob storage. That's what we are going to do. Uh, let me show you that blob storage and uh, the file. So let's go to the tech browser storage. That's our storage. And we have a couple of containers there. And one container is called input container. And you can see the file there. And uh, it has only one line of uh, data. So you can see it has uh, ID 10, Raza, customer, and this is a date. So that's the file it's going to read, and then uh, we are going to write this file uh, to the output container. So go to the output container, and uh, I'm going to delete this file. It's already there, so we will write to the new file here. Let's go back here and uh, configure our uh, copy activity. Now let's go to source. We are going to create a new linked service, Azure Blob Storage. Click right there, CSV file, yes, and uh, now click the link service. Let's create a new link service. So select the subscription and then you're going to select the storage account and then we are going to hit the test. Test is successful. Let's create this link service and I'm going to call this one LNK storage. Create. And here you're going to go to the container and it's inside the container. This is the file we are selecting to read. Yes, this file has a header on the first row. So select OK. And we all set for the source part. And then, then we need to go to the sync. Here we are going to go to the new data set, Azure Blob Stories. Yes. And it's going to be CSV file as well. And uh, we can call any DS output or something like that, whatever the name um, you want to provide for your uh, data set. So select the link service. We can use the same link service because it's pointing to the same blob storage. And we can select a different container. So it's going to be output. Yes, it will have uh, this uh, first row as a header. None. Hit OK. And well, now we go cl click open. And here we can provide our file name. I'm going to provide the output uh, file.txt or whatever the name you want to provide. Now we are all set here, our copy activity is good. Next, I would like to get another wait activity and uh, that should be right there. Now what we are going to do, we are going to give the name. So I'm going to call this one uh, second wait. So now I will uh, go ahead and deploy this uh, pipeline. Let's publish this one. And uh, once we publish, uh, after that we are going to go ahead and rerun it. As of now, there, you see that there is no mechanism or I did not put any extra logic here. Like, oh, if uh, my first uh, uh, activity failed, uh, then uh, start from here or hey, give me the option to start from where. So I'm going to show you where exactly we are going to do that. So now our pipeline is published and uh, we can go. Um, actually, we can trigger here. So add and then we'll say trigger now and it's going to run um, this pipeline. And uh, this should be completing successfully. And uh, in the next run, what we are going to do, we are going to remove the input file and make this uh, pipeline fail. And then uh, we'll replace the file uh, there and uh, rerun it uh, from the copy activity. 
it, this is a task is going to be passed up. So now let's uh, go in the, if we go to the monitoring, we should be able to see our pipeline run demo is uh, completed successfully. And you can see all of them got completed successfully. Now, this is all good here, right? Now, what if I will do, let's go to the container here in the output container. And you see right there in the output container, the file has been uh, copied. That's good. Now, this looks uh, awesome. And what we are going to do, we are going to delete this file and uh, remove it. Also, what we are going to do, we are going to remove the file from the input. Now, if I will, uh, or if I can, uh, let me see if I'm going to rename this file here. Yeah, you can't really rename the file here in this uh, op, uh, part here. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and delete the file. Now, if I will rerun my pipeline, it's going to fail. Okay, so let's go to the pipeline again, and uh, let's trigger this pipeline. Trigger now. Trigger is running. And uh, we can go to the monitor again and take a look. And here we see that uh, our rerun uh, uh, demo pipeline got uh, failed. And it was uh, triggered manually, that's correct. And let's click on this uh, uh, pipeline. And once we do that, it, show, it is showing us, uh, hey, the first wait got completely successful. And the second uh, uh, part, that's a copy activity that got failed. And the reason for failure, we know that we have deleted uh, the input to file. So if you want to see right there, some more information. Let's see what we have there, error right here. It is telling, hey, it is not able to find the file. So blob does not exist, right? That's why it failed. Now. Think about that. This is a, this was your truncate table, the lead table, or anything like that, or there could be tons of other activities. You have it here. You don't want to run all of them uh, and uh, start from the uh, and then uh, you know come into this copy activity and all that. It it is the best uh, kind of approach for us to start where it failed. So you can go to the copy activity and uh, run from there. So all the next uh, five uh, activities should run them. So the first one which has completed su successfully, you don't need to rerun them, right? So what we are gonna do in this case, uh, we are gonna upload the file again, and uh, I'm going to upload the file, select the file, and uh, I'm gonna go to the ADF input, and here is uh, my file. Okay, so that I'm uploading this file. And up, after uploading the file, I know that uh, now I'm good to go. And uh, what I can do, I can start from the copy activity. So here, um, I want to uh, talk, talk a little bit about uh, different things. So you need to be smart enough. Let's say you are uh, running a store procedure and you're handling that inside, uh, you know, the logics uh, to uh, insert duplicate records or if the record exists and all those kind of things. If it is copy activity, yes, fine. Uh, you are loading the data now. And this, if you re 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 just uh, start from the copy activity, right? So if there is a one uh, that you need to truncate a table, then, then run it. So if it completed halfway and half of the records are written, you need to start from the previous. So, but uh, you, you see my point, uh, you you have to be understanding your pipeline where exactly you want to start over. Even it failed on this guy, yes, you can start from here and uh, it will run all the other ones uh, uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the sequence where they are connected. But uh, you might have to go back one step or two step and see if there is a, some preparation uh, activities were done that you need to do before you run from the a uh, failed one. So, but uh, it's very easy. Uh, if you want to start, let's say this was a truncated table. So if you want to start from here again, you can always go right there and do it. But in our case, it uh, we don't have any truncated table or any other things. So we are going to click right there on this uh, uh, icon and then it's going to start. So click right there, rerun from activity. So we hit right there. So are you sure you want to rerun pipeline or re uh, rerun demo from activity? copy activity yes so in this case what's going to happen it's not going to run this first wait it's going to start from the copy activity and then run the second wait so it will run only two activities for us notice here uh, the first activity that was our first wait it is skipped so right there it is skipped so it did not run it started running from the point where we told so in this case only two activities uh, uh, ran so one was a copy activity you can see right there and uh, the other one is a second beta so this is how you can always come back uh, to your failed uh, 
pipelines and rerun from the point of a failure or even before the point of failure. So in this case, so we started from the copy activity. Well, if you have 20 other activities uh, before this copy activity, there are a few of them you need to rerun before even you get to the copy activity, like such as I told you, truncate table and all that. So you can uh, start from any activity and it will uh, run. In this case, so let's say if we want to start uh, from here again, we can do that. But uh, you got the idea how to rerun uh, your uh, a uh, pipeline in case of failure from a point of a failure. Um, just want to show you it to work uh, uh, in the output folder. You can see that uh, the file has been copied. So um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in next video.